Hey, I want to show you something cool. See how I'm typing here on my Mac? And actually, everything is duplicated on that screen. All of that is possible because of this tiny device. This device allows you to control your computers, your NAS boxes, any device that has HDMI port remotely. So in this video, I'm going to go through all the features what this device has to offer. So why do you need one of these devices? Having a team viewer or something similar like that limits you to a software level controlling. This device allows you to control things even in BIOS level. And even further than that, you can initiate power on, power off, reset buttons, all of those buttons on your motherboard, you can control that with this device. You can even use feature like wake on LAN, which means you can either wake devices up on the LAN, you can initiate power on button, you can even change boot order, and thanks to built-in SD card, you can also simulate a virtual CD or virtual USB stick being connected to your computer or your NAS. So that allows you to boot that NAS or computer into live CD mode, or you can boot into any operating system that you want to put on this SD card. And what's cool about it, you can put those ISO files on this SD card remotely. At no point you need to be physically in that location where this device is connected. So let's go through the specs and have a look what this box has inside. So this box comes with dual A53 1.5 gigahertz processor, which is way faster than other KVMs out there in the market. It also comes with DDR4 memory, one gigabyte, and 32 gig eMMC. Regarding HDMI ports, you get 4K connection. And there's also a feature called 4K loopout, which allows you to see what's going on on the NAS using this mini screen on the KVM. It also supports both encoding formats H.264 and H.265 as audio transmit. You can emulate your keyboard and mouse. You can emulate your USB ISO files. There are other features like APMI, Wacom LAN, Web SSH. You can create your own custom scripts on this device. There are three channels for serial terminal. That internal 32 gig storage can perform up to 300 megabytes a second. The ethernet is also one gigabit, not 100 meg. There's also optional model available that gives you PoE connection which will power on this device using LAN. If you do not have LAN or don't want to connect through the LAN, you also have Wi-Fi 6 connection option. You can also connect ATX motherboards. You can connect directly to your power on, reset, and other connectors on your motherboard. So you can initiate boot process. It comes with 1.47 inch LCD, and you can also connect LEDs if you wanted to make it look extra cool. And the price you pay is $79 for desktop model and $69 for PCIe card form factor. And look how cool it is. You can control this using your web browser. So let's have a look at user interface. You can choose different video modes. You can switch between encoding formats. You can choose different quality based on your internet speed. You can change your GOP. You can also change what resolution you want, 1080p, 4K, how many frames per second. This device comes with 50 millisecond response rate, which is very good. You can also enable your virtual keyboard or you can just use your own keyboard. It's all connected. You can also configure your mouse, how responsive you want it to be. And there is this cool feature called image mount. So you can upload, download or mount an image. So in my case, I uploaded Fedora Live CD. You can upload multiple OSs here. So you can choose to boot into Windows, Linux, or anything else. It's a very handy feature if you need to support someone's computer or server. You can also upload some scripts. And there is also something new that they are still working on, which is called Smart Assistant. It uses external VLM model. This is AI model that recognizes pictures. It can figure out what is going on the screen and it can act and interact with your user interface. It's still in beta, but it's very nice feature when it comes out. You can also control the terminal, send the commands, either nano KVM terminal or through serial port terminal, which allows you to send commands to your motherboard. And then there's also a very useful feature, Wake on LAN. So if you have other devices in your network that obviously support Wake on LAN, pasting a MAC address here, will allow you to wake up your NAS or your work computer. So you don't need to be physically connected to the computer you want to switch on. So if you're working from home, if you want to boot your work PC, you can do it from here. Let's go into settings and have a look what is there. If you have other devices like PI KVM, this smaller device, you can switch into that interface and control it. This device will automatically receive IP address so you can connect to it or you can create your own host name. So you can connect to this device using personalized URL. So in my case, I'm connecting through workpc.local. 
You can change some appearances. You can give it a name. You can choose what you want in your menu bar. And then regarding device, you can enable disabled SSH, MDNS, virtual disk, or even virtual network. If you prefer to connect through the Wi-Fi, you can do that here. You can also enable HDMI capture and HDMI pass-through. This KVM connects in between your monitor and your computer. So you can still use your computer and you can access it remotely at the same time. There's also something very useful called mouse jiggler. So this can prevent system to go into hibernation mode or some other people might use this feature to pretend they're working because it will look like you are all the time interacting with your system. You can also connect LED strips to this device and you can control those LED lights based on the image you are having on your screen. So if you're watching some movie and there are some blue tones, green tones, it's gonna use those colors on your LED strip. Very nice feature. And you can also connect tail scale. This is a VPN connection that allows you to connect to your KVM through this private tunnel remotely and it's super easy to set up and it's free. Also, if you have multiple KVMs or nano KVMs, there is an interface to control them all in one place. This is also a very useful feature. Let's have a look at this device itself. The other cool feature that it has, it allows you to connect a second monitor through USB. At this moment, Windows only, but you have this feature there. This KVM also comes with this accessory, which means if you're building your own PC or NAS, you would normally use these pins to power it on, power it off. So this little adapter plugs onto these pins and it connects through USB to your KVM. So now you can power on this motherboard remotely. Sipeed will also give you a mounting bracket which will allow you to mount this in your server room, in your rack cabinet, something like this. So let's have a look at this device itself. You can control it using this dial knob, but it also has a touch screen so you can press and hold and you can use touch screen to switch from one option to another. So if you go into host mode, you'll see your memory, your CPU usage. If you go into user apps, you can create your own app. There are some default apps available to you, something like Pomodoro timer or Bitcoin tracker, but you can have your own Python script uploaded there. So you can connect it to your Synology through the API or any other device that has API access or Maybe you just want to have fun script running on it. Nothing to do with external connections. You can also choose what output you want through HDMI or USB port. There's also this fun feature called loopback. If you click on HDMI, you can see actually what is happening on this NAS. So you don't even need a screen. This is your screen. So if you have this connected in your server room, it's a very handy feature so you can have a look what is going on with your server. And then obviously you get also settings so you can configure your Wi-Fi your Ethernet connections, your HDMI. You can enable or disable your loop out. There are other options like SSH, MDNS. You can change the LED light. You can change the ambi light brightness or configure this panel. So either you can use touch screen or use this dial. Press and hold. That will allow you to go into options. On the default page, you always see what's your IP address, screen resolution, frame rate, CPU usage and other things. Otherwise, if you leave it alone, it's gonna show you the current time. So this is how this KVM look like. So you have those connections at the back. So this is your one gigabit LAN connection, HDMI in and HDMI out. Having dual HDMI here allows you to connect between monitor and PC, which means you never need to disconnect your KVM. And then obviously other USB ports for power and for controlling your mouse and keyboard or the port for controlling your pins on the motherboard and also a serial port here. And here at the bottom is your SD card slot. This is your storage. This is where you can upload those ISO files and make your computer boot into live CD or completely different operating system. So this is KVM Pro, small little device that allows you to control remotely your computers, your servers, or any other HDMI based device. So as I said earlier, they make different variants of this box. You can have PoE port, which allows you to power on this device through the LAN port. So you don't need to use additional USB connection here. But otherwise it's very easy to use. Connect HID port to simulate your keyboard and mouse. Power to power it on. Connect your SD card. Connect HDMI cable from your computer or NAS into HDMI in. Connect other HDMI going to your monitor. And connect your LAN or connect through the Wi-Fi and you're ready to go. Even if you don't need KVM and you don't need tail scale alternative, this device on its own can serve for so many different purposes. As I mentioned earlier, 
You can simply use this device for wake on LAN feature to wake up other devices on your network because normally you would pay the same price or more for a dedicated device that does this wake on LAN. Also, if you need a second monitor, you can use this device to convert your USB port into a second monitor. Or if you want smart LED strip to match the colors on the screen, this device again gives you this feature. Or if you want to have your own personalized apps running on this tiny microcomputer, you can create your own apps and use this for that. You can have your own YouTube subscriber counter or anything you can think of. You can also use this as a VPN bridge. It comes with Tailscale pre-installed. All you need to do is link it with Tailscale admin panel. And now you have a bridge, VPN. Or if you need none of that, you can use it as a mouse jiggler. Very popular device for people working from home. Or lastly, you can just use it for AI. They are working on their beta software, so you can already play with it. It will detect what is going on on the screen and you can tell it to act in a certain way. So I don't know any other KVM out there that has so many features. If you want to get one of these things, I'm going to put a link in the description. Currently they are on pre-order. This is a brand new product in the market, but I highly recommend to get one of these and try it out. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.